Solve the following equation for all positive values of x less than 360 degrees. Sine square of x is equal to 4 cos square of x. We pay attention that this is not a basic elementary equation. Our effort would be to reduce this down to one of our basic equations. Just a reminder that our basic equations were sine x equal to a or cosine of x equal to a or tangent of x equal to a and where a is a given number. These are the equations that we call elementary. Now with the equations that we have in hand we have sine squared of x equal to 4 cos squared of x. If we divide both sides of this equation by cos squared we would get sine squared of x over cos squared of x is equal to 4 cos squared of x over cos squared of x. We can now simplify this expression we get tangent squared of x is equal to 4 since cos squared and cos squared of x cancel each other and since sine x over cos x is equal to tangent of x this equation can be solved to give tangent of x is equal to plus or minus root 4 and we know that root 4 is equal to 2 therefore tangent of x is either 2 or tangent of x is minus 2. Now these are our elementary equations. They both are of this kind. And we know how to solve an equation of this type. So I will consider two cases. Case 1 tangent of x is equal to 2. If I use my calculator, I will see that, and if I use x equal to tan inverse of 2, of course we should pay attention that this is one of the values that x can take. And I'm going to call that a, so I'm going to write here, in fact, a equal to tan inverse of 2. Using our calculator, this turns out to be approximately 63.43 degrees. Let's show this angle on a trigonometric circle. Here is the sine axis, the cosine axis, and the tangent axis. The tangent axis. So the tangent of this angle is equal to 2, and since the radius of this circle is equal to 1, the tangent must be somewhere around here so this would be plus 2 and if we connect that point to the center we're going to get the angle of 63.43 degrees so that would be one of the values whose tangent would be 2 now is this going to be one of the answers to our question because 63.43 degrees is greater than 0 and less than 360 degrees, my answer is yes. So one of our solutions is this number. Now point A represents many angles. In fact, point A can represent 63.43 degrees or 63.43 degrees plus and minus 360 degrees or you can add another 360 degrees or reduce another 360 degrees and you still get a value for A which um, has its tangent equal to 2. But are all of these our solutions to this problem that we have? My answer is no. To show that, 
I am going to show you what the values of these two angles are. If you calculate these two angles, you would get two values. One is 423.43 degrees, and the other one is minus 296.5757 degrees. And none of these is in the range we're looking for. Um, because 400 is greater than 360 degrees and minus 290 degrees would be less than zero. We want our angles to be between zero and 360 degrees. <coughs> Therefore, none of these would be a solution. Now, on the trigonometric circle, there is another point, a prime, which has the same tangent, as you can see from the diagram. Now, to find A prime, we would add 180 degrees to find one of the values of A prime. We can add 180 degrees to one of the values of A, let's say 63.43 degrees. And if we add these two, we're going to get 243 point Four, three degrees. Now this value of A prime also has its tangent equal to plus 2. Could this be one of our solution? Yes, because it is between 0 and 360 degrees. So I have found another solution. Now from this angle again, from A prime, A prime represents many angles. I can in fact, A prime represents 243.43 degrees or 243.43 degrees plus and minus 360 degrees or 243.43 degrees plus and minus twice 360 degrees and so on. But none of these would actually give you an answer which is between zero and 360 degrees. So I will discard all of those. So far, therefore, I have two solutions for this equation. Tangent of x equal to 2. Now let's consider case 2, where tangent of x is equal to minus 2. On a trigonometric circle, I can see that tangent of x equal minus 2. This is one unit, so this would be 1 and 1. This is minus 2 on the trigonometric circle. It would correspond to these two points. We call them b and b prime. These two points on the trigonometric circle have their tangents equal to minus 2. But each one of these points, b or b prime, represents an infinite number of angles. If you use the calculator, we will see that one of the values for b would be tan inverse of minus 2, which is approximately minus 63 point four three degrees. Now could this be one of our solutions? No, because it is less than zero. So I'm not going to consider this as a solution. But point P B represents many angles. In fact it represents minus sixty three point four three degrees minus sixty three point four three degrees plus and minus three hundred sixty degrees and so on. We can add another 360 or subtract another 360 and you can keep going. All the numbers you get would correspond to point B. All these angles would correspond to point B and have their tangent equal to minus 2. We know that minus 63.43 degrees is not a solution. Let's see whether any of these two angles could be a solution. These two angles are actually 296.43. 57 degrees and minus 423.43 degrees. 
296.57 is an answer because it is between 0 and 360 degrees. But minus 423 degrees cannot become an answer because it is less than 0. You can also show that the rest of the angles you would get in the sequence in the same way would not correspond to the solutions we are looking for. Now, other than point B, there is another point, B prime, whose tangent is equal to minus 2. To find B prime, one of the values for B prime, we can add 180 degrees, because it's on the opposite side of the center, we can add 180 degrees to one of the values for B. And one of the values for B was minus 63.43 degrees. And that would give us 116.57 degrees. Could this be a solution? Yes, because it is between 0 and 360 degrees. But this is only one of the values that point B prime represents. Point B prime also represents other than 116.57 degrees, it represents 116.57 degrees plus or minus 360 degrees and so on. However, a close look would show that none of these would correspond to a uh, solution because they will be out of the domain that we want x to fall, which is between 0 and 360 degrees. Therefore, if I collect all the solutions that I have, I would get, for the values of x satisfying the original equation, I would get 63.43 degrees or 243.43 degrees or 296.57 or 116.57 degrees. These values are the values of x which satisfy the original equation, which was sine squared of x is equal to 4 cos squared of x, and also satisfy the condition of being between 0 and 360 degrees.